hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be drawing a welded joint as seen right on the screen so what we are asked to do in this video is to draw the 3d of this particular 2d drawing which we have been given so now the first thing we are going to do is to interpret this drawing all right so now we have been given the dimensions to be in millimeter now what this means is that this is a joint as it is like this and this is actually a C joint we have other types of joints like butt joints lap joints we have the corner joint and the edge joint but this is actually a T joint and they are giving us that we are to weld something here which is what which is with a fillet weld this sign means a fillet weld all right now they are asking us to weld it at the arrow side had it been this thing had been on this other side like this that means we are to weld it at this particular side but since it is here we are welding it in this particular side all right so that is on the arrow side now concerning the dimensions i told you earlier on that we are representing this in 3d so now we are going to be having something like this all right why we draw we are going to be having something like this like an oblique so this 60 millimeter right here is for the length all right is for this length of the oblique okay now this 10 and 20 is for the fillets okay this 10 by 20 is for the fillets now for the 10 millimeter we are asked to um put our dimension in millimeter for the 10 millimeter it represents this straight line of the fillet when we have something like this all right we are going to have our drawing to be like this so our fillet is going to be in this manner okay so this 10 millimeter represents from year to year okay and this 20 millimeter represents from year to year of the fillet so let's start drawing as soon as i draw you are going to get to understand so the first thing we are going to do is to draw the reference line all right and we have been given the length okay this is like the front elevation to be of what 100 millimeter so i'm going to pick 100 millimeter I'm going to pick 100 millimeter that's 10 centimeter on my ruler okay now we are drawing an oblique all right so i'm going to pick my 45 degrees s square then at this point i'm going to draw a straight line like this then also draw a straight line upward okay we might not allow it to be up to this okay in this manner now at this point also we are going to do the same thing we are going to draw a straight line upward like this in this manner now from year to year we have been giving it to be 20 so we are going to make mark 20 first yeah we are going to mark 20 now then draw like this okay so at this point also we are going to draw our straight line like this also in this manner now like i said the length of this place is 60 as given in this place so i'm going to mark 60 millimeter this is 60 millimeter here okay so at that point of 60 millimeter i'm going to draw a straight line upward then at this edge yeah please ensure you make use of thin lines first ensure you make use of thin lines because we are going to be erasing some parts of later okay so it's going to be like this okay so that's that for this base that's that for this base now i want to draw this place which is up here and we have been given the thickness to be of what 20 millimeter the thickness is 20 millimeter and it is at the center all right so we are going to pick 50 which is the center okay we are going to pick 50 first then towards the right hand side we are going to pick for 10 millimeter and towards the left hand side we are going to pick 10 millimeter in this manner like this okay and we have been given the height to be what to be 80 millimeter so now at those points i'm going to draw a straight line like this in this manner upward okay then here also i'll draw a straight line upward then at this point here i'm going to make use of my 45 degree draw like this and where it is meeting this point i'm going to draw okay upward like this 
So now I'm going to measure what 80. I'm going to measure 80 millimeter. So this is 80 millimeter at this point here. So I'll draw like this. Then draw this draw this let's extend this a little bit upward all right so i'll join this together in this manner like this okay so we can erase some parts of the drawing let's erase this parts that we are not going to be needing in order to avoid confusion while drawing this okay So that's that for the oblique block first. That is the first thing we have to draw. Now we are going to move straight to the weld, which is a fillet weld, all right? A fillet weld is used to join like two metals that are at that are perpendicular like this or at an angle. It might be at another angle, not necessarily perpendicular, but it must always be at angle. That is what fillet weld is actually used for so now like i said in the beginning they are giving us 10 by 20 so the height is what is 10 so at this point i'm going to pick 10 this is 10 millimeter and this breadth here is what is 20 so at this point also i'll pick 20 all right so i'll do exactly the same for here also i'll pick 10 here then i pick 20 here so at this point i'll join together then at this point i join together so now i'm going to be joining these two points together like this and these two points together like this to form my weld now what we are going to do is to what is to arch it is to arch it in order to show that it is actually a weld so we are going to be ashing it in this manner and then shading this particular place so we are going to ash it like this just ensure that the ashing line is not too like too large in this manner it's not too large and it's not too thin just make it moderate the way i'm doing it all right so i'm actually making use of the length of this place to ash it if you found value in this video, please don't hesitate to subscribe for more tutorial videos like this. Thanks for doing that. Okay, so this is it here and we can likewise also shade these parts. Alright, this parts here so that is that for this drawing which we have been given don't forget to hit the like button thanks for watching peace i'll see you in the next video